الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلا علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد حبت فی اللہ اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی سیس فی کتاب الكریم کل نفس دائکت الموت every soul shall taste death every soul shall taste death with knowing this that death is true the mu'mineen do not dispute this the kafirin do not dispute this no one disputes the fact that we will die that we will no longer exist in this life as we know it وَإِنَّ لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ and that from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we came and from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we shall return with knowing this as mu'mineen we should strive our utmost to be obedient to Allah azza wa jal and to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our daily affairs because all we have is now and we don't know what state that we shall die and we don't know when we shall die nor do we know how we shall die nor are we aware of when our family when we'll lose our family so the mu'min is aware of this and strives to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nahar wa layl in the day and the night that when you have that time to yourself in the evening that you're obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when you wake up and do the activities that you do during the day that you're obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because every soul will taste death and every soul will be held accountable for how he or she lived their life were they oppressive towards the people did they cheat the people did they steal from the people did they take the rights of the people or were they known to be of the people who were righteous and the people who gave to the people the people who honored their trusts and fulfilled their trusts and were kind and forthcoming with the people So the mu'min strives to be aware before that time of death approaches. And the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, Inna ahadakum liya'malu bi'amala ahla jannah hatta ma yakun baynahu wa baynaha ila dhira'an fa yusbiku alayhi al-kitab fa'amala ahla ahla al-nar the Prophet والسلام, said, Verily, one of you will do the deeds of the people of, uh, of paradise until what is between him and it is an arm span. And then they will do the deeds of the people of the fire and enter it. And why I want to remind myself and my brothers and sisters about this hadith is it something we should always reflect on. And I'll give you something true. Even today, today is Yomu Jumwa. And at the khutbah, I saw one of my neighbors. I have never, ever seen him. And may Allah forgive us in him. And I'm not trying to expose his faults. None of you will know him. But I've never seen him go near the masjid. But today, I saw him in Yomu Jumwa. And I was pleased because I didn't think he prayed at all. And many times, may Allah forgive us in him, this individual, when you're returning from the masjid or what have you, you see him leaving to go and do something. The point being a habit of Allah, that I had a prejudgment about, <coughs> about this individual. Because Ahl Sunnah Yahkam al Dahir, they make judgments upon what they see that's apparent. And I see that apparent that I thought he didn't pray at all, or at least he never prays in the masjid. And I was mistaken, at least this Jumwa, and possibly other Jumwas. 
and it made me reflect on this hadith because the khutbah was also about death and how you leave your family and your wealth and your belongings and your titles behind you. Sheikh, fadila to Sheikh, la, no more. You'll be questioned in the grave like the poor person, like the jahil person, like everyone else. But it reminded me when I saw him and I was happy that not my situation, but maybe someone else who we think that's righteous, who we know is always praying in the masjid, that's always doing good deeds. We only know good and khair from this individual. But we don't know the end for that individual. You don't know the end for yourself. Maybe you thought you were an istiqamah. Brother so-and-so is Salafi. Brother so-and-so, mashallah, is always doing this khair and is a talib al-ilm and he's this and don't speak about this brother and he's, he's, he's great and he's this and that and the other. We don't know how he will die. We don't know how she will die. So it lets us know that we have to do amal al-salih or salih a'mal as much as possible, whenever possible, all the time. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with a battle of sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.